G'day guys, I'm James from Betfair, joined by Mr. Tom Bishop, one of our data scientists. Tom, uh, as well as being someone that, that works four days a week, I'm not sure how he's been able to pull that off, is also a very successful automated greyhound punter. Um, he's going to be discussing the greyhound model that he built exclusive to the Betfair hub. Now Tom, can you tell me how did this come about, how did this start? Uh, initially, we were approached by Greyhound Victoria with access to their uh, fast track API data. Um, and at that point, we sort of um, decided to have a bit of a play around with it and see what we could do. Um, a few months passed, eventually, sort of we put together a bit of a predictive model um, and, and then we pushed it onto the hub for customers to use. Uh, in terms of creating it, machine learning you were using, which means you're filtering sort of just that exclusive data set in and sort of seeing what features are the most valuable? Yeah, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much the approach. It's generally a machine learning approach, but yes, process is you build a bunch of features um, for each sort of greyhound, um, and then the, the machine learning algorithm sifts through them and sort of decides which things are important to predict the outcome of the race and which things aren't, and eventually it spits out a bit of a formula for to use for future races. And the current outputs, you've got rated prices for every dog? Yeah, so yeah, so it has um, a predicted probability which you can turn into a, a rated price and then sort of you can compare that to the exchange price to decide on, on what's value to back and what's value to lay. Yeah right, so we have those for, is it, um, it's on Queensland Racing as well so you're able to use a similar data set? Yeah yeah so um, it's a similar API we have access to but yeah it's just um, Victorian and Queensland. And if you were like a recreational user that was seeing these outputs each day, is there any sort of strategies that you'd recommend for using it? Um, yeah, you've got the full set of ratings for all the runners in the race, so there's a lot of different ways you can use it. If you just want to sort of back things that are likely to win, you can use the top rated runner, or you can use the value, which is the purest way to apply the ratings, in that you look for things that sort of are under the market price or over the market price and back and lay accordingly. Um, it seems to do a reasonably good job at um, picking sort of value lays, so things that are um, the model thinks are sort of long shots, which are sort of a little bit shorter in the market. Um, you can sort of lay those and it seems to do reasonably well at that. And you uh, have taken what you started with there and you're using it personally at the moment? I've sort of done a bit of stuff outside of work and sort of refined a few things. It's a bit of an iterative process. You sort of learn a lot as you go. Um, but yeah, I've done a, a bit of refinement at home and sort of playing around with that. Okay. And it's hooked up to the exchange, so using Betfair's API and it can, it's betting automatically? Yeah, yeah, so automating it through the API so I don't have to touch it or look at it every day. It's sort of just, it's trading um, the prices that I produce every day and placing bets um, on the exchange. Um, and there's lots of good resources on GitHub that can sort of get you set up with the API. Yeah, cool. You've preempted my last question there. So yeah, yeah hopefully the, the hub's supposed to be a resource where we house all of these things. Um, and GitHub, which is obviously familiar to, to people of your skill set, um, we're trying to house it there so that people can learn how to do this from home um, and hopefully have some similar success that you're having. Thanks, Tom. Really appreciate it.